good afternoon in my previous lecture i was i had incompleted uh, the problem uh, where the direction cosines were given in the form of relations and separating those direction cosines from the relations and we proved that one result that is uh, sum of the reciprocals of the direction ratios that is 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c is equal to 0. Uh, earlier to that uh, the quadratic equation in terms of uh, L m n which where the equations were given like this, this is A L plus B m plus C n equal to 0 and uh, m n plus n L plus L m is equal to 0. Uh, to remind you about these things, uh, L m n were not given as numerical values, but uh, L m n uh, like symbols themselves were appeared in the form of relations. What you are supposed to do, uh, you, uh, actually you have to separate the values of L m n using both the equations, either you put first equation in the second or second equation in the first, somehow you must get these values uh, which are included, uh, these L m n in both the equations, first and second equations and uh, you have to prove for the condition that two lines are perpendicular. Last time I was showing that two lines are perpendicular. So, one line shows uh, one set of direction cosines and another line shows one more set of direction cosines when they are uh, perpendicular and when they are parallel. The first condition this one 1 by a, 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c is equal to 0 when two lines are perpendicular. At some stage uh, uh, I had made incomplete uh, about the those results. Let me uh, take those uh, that equation and then I shall prove uh, these two results when the conditions uh, are to be fulfilled for the condition one is perpendicular and the other one is parallel. At some stage uh, I had the equation uh, for the given two sets of uh, equations should be A into L by M whole square plus a plus b minus c l by m and plus b equal to 0. What I claimed uh, in this step that is quadratic in l by m which is L by M implies, this implies there must be two values because quadratic means it is a second degree equation, it must possess two values, two values for the roots that is L by M is if you want you can represent like A x square plus B x plus C that is the comparison you can take with this A x square plus B x plus C equal to 0, then according to the property of the quadratic equations. I consider L by M represents L1 by M1 and L2 by M2. As per the property of the quadratic equation, I can take like this uh, sum as L1 by M1 plus L2 by M2 is equal to minus B by A. According to this equation, according to this equation, a x square means <coughs> that is small a, a is equal to a and b is equal to a plus b minus c and c is equal to b. Do not get confusion with these uh, notations, left side a b c meaning is according to the according to the quadratic equation like small letters if you write a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0. These are capital letters, those are small letters. Anyone you can uh, take the comparison and uh, uh, collect the values a equal to a and b is equal to this coefficient and c is equal to that is b. According to the property of quadratic equations, sum of the two roots is equal to minus b by a. According to our equation, our equation minus b means minus of a plus b minus c b by a, a is the same symbol and product 
product of the two roots is equal to means L1 by M1 into L2 by M2 C by A. C means it is B by A because C is equal to B that is B by A. We have to use our uh, cleverness in giving the uh, proper simplification so that the first result is to be derived should be 1 by A plus 1 by B plus 1 by C is equal to 0. In my previous lecture, I made this uh, step as incomplete. So, today I am continuing from this step onwards because still here I think I had written in the previous step. Now, this is the product uh, how I am going to assess like L1, L2 by M1, M2 is equal to B by A. If you take the cross multiplication, A into L1, L2 is equal to B into M1, M2 and further this can be taken as L1, L2 divided by 1 divided by A is equal to M1, M2 divided by 1 by B. That means L1, L2 is equal, uh, divided by 1 by A means equivalence relation. This is possible when you write the equation in terms of L by M. That means we establish the relation between L and M only. You have the cyclic order according to the direction cosines L, M, N. From those two given equations, from those two given equations, these two equations A L plus B M plus C N equal to 0 and M N plus N L plus L M is equal to 0. Instead of sub, uh, eliminating N, if you had eliminated L, you would have arrived at a conclusion the relation between N and M. And if you had eliminated M and retaining L and N, then you would have arrived at a conclusion between L and N. So that in the cyclic order if I take L, M, N in this order, so I had to, now I have derived between L and M means first and second. Okay, then that means this this one first, second, and third. I have taken like between first and second. Next, uh, similarly, if you change this equation in terms of M and N, if you retain uh, eliminating L, you will get the relation between second and third. Therefore, by cyclic order. Otherwise, symmetry you can take uh, by symmetry. Symmetry you can derive, I am writing directly here itself n1, n2 divided by 1 by c. When such is the relation, when such is the relation, it must be equated to some common constant by ratio and proportions. That is what uh, some another uh, uh, fundamental I am using. Then, if you compare, if you equate uh, individual uh, values L1, L2 by 1 by A is equal to K, M1, M2 by 1 by B is equal to K and N1, N2 divided by 1 by C is equal to K. These are the uh, values of direction cosines in terms of two sets of values. First set for L is L1, L2. Second set of values for M, M1, M2 similarly N1, N2. So, we, we are able to obtain the values in the form of product. Now, what is the claim in this uh, statement of the geometrical problem I am giving? Two lines are perpendicular. So, two lines are perpendicular means in the three dimensional case, what are the what is the angle between those two lines when they are perpendicular? That means, I have taken uh, two lines that means, these two lines A, B, C, X, O, Z, Y. Then, what is the angle between these two? That means, A, B, that means, A, B is one line and B, C is another line. This angle should be 90 degree. <coughs> okay. This is a space. Every time uh, 
<coughs> I'm sorry. Every time when you are using the when I am explaining through application, any corner you can assume I am holding these two sticks in the space. This is in the space only. So in the space means this should be supported with the with reference to the coordinate axis, right? Here the angle should be 90 degree. So two things I am going to derive. One is this is the situation, the first result I am going to derive and the another situation is those two lines are parallel. So these two situations are in the space. Now uh, this will be proved, direction cosines are there and we have uh, the condition for two lines to be perpendicular then perpendicular then cos 90 degree is equal to 0, L1, L2 plus M1, M2 plus N1, N2. Then you replace these values by taking cross multiplication that is L1, L2 is equal to K by A, M1, M2 is equal to K by B, N1, N2 is equal to K by C simply replace the values there should be k by a plus k by b plus k by c. Then you can avoid that k, so therefore 0 is equal to that means 0 by k that is 1 by a, 1 by b, 1 by c. Therefore 1 by a, 1 by b plus 1 by c. This is your first derivation first result which is given when two lines are perpendicular reciprocal of sum of these values is equal to 0. Now another uh, situation this is first situation from the quadratic equation we are derived and another situation what you are going to take when the two lines are parallel. So that is also uh, to be uh, derived using the same quadratic equation if I name this equation as 1 if I did not give any number earlier. I will use that uh, number uh, once again with the quadratic equation property. What is that property I am going to claim for the second uh, derivation? First derivation is this one when the two lines are perpendicular. Then that should be angle is 90 degree. Now the second situation case 2, case 2 when two lines are parallel parallel in the space that is two lines two lines are parallel then we have to derive of course two uh, even other two results also we can derive in general already in one of the previous problems I had explained but here the condition to be proved as square root of a plus square root of b plus square root of c is equal to 0. So this is what uh, the result is to be derived. To derive this result, you have to start from the quadratic equation. Otherwise, you would have started with some other uh, uh, step in this solution. But to prove this one uh, as parallel and uh, this result is to be proved means I have to take out the value from this quadratic equation and uh, I have to define it as a discriminant that should be 0. Under the square root sign, delta is equal to b square minus 4ac. That value you have to simplify and then proper rearrangements with the proper assumption you are able to derive this result. When the two lines are parallel, then delta that is b square minus 4ac uh, in, in x equal to minus b, x equal to in this case means L by m is equal to plus minus root of b square minus 4ac and divided by 2a. But delta is equal to this one in this step should be is equal to 0. This is what from the theory of equations you have studied in the uh, 11th and 12th class in the chapter that is discriminant if it is 0 then we will say that two lines are parallel because obviously numerical values will be same then. So we want to derive that uh, uh, using this condition we want to derive that square root of a is plus square root of b plus square root of c is equal to 0. Now I had to locate what are the values of a, b, c according to this equation a equal to a, b equal to this much and c is equal to b. Therefore I take this one, I take this one 
b square means a plus b minus c whole square minus 4 a c 4 into a into b is equal to 0. So, now I will rub everything except this step, uh, because my concern is between between this quadratic equation, this is also not necessary, right. Okay. Now, if you give the proper simplification from this step, you can derive the result uh, square root of a square root of b plus square root of c is equal to 0, right. a plus b plus c whole square is equal to 4 a b, if you take this quantity to the right side. Now, if you remove the square root sign a plus b plus c is equal to plus minus 2 root of a b. Now, I want to uh, arrange this one sum of the two terms whole square, sum of the two terms whole square means looking to the presence of a and b in the left side and looking to the presence of that uh, term on the right side uh, two times of root of a b. If we choose you have two signs plus and minus and if you choose which is sign, so that you can arrange sum of the two terms is equal to uh, that is uh, sum of the three terms <coughs> that is equal to sum of the two terms whole square. Now, sum of the three terms if you want to write that is if you choose plus sign that happens to be left side as negative, negative then uh, the required result is in between a and b here plus sign is there here and here also plus sign is there. If you carefully observe and if you use your cleverness then between the two terms there must be a plus sign. So, in order to retain plus sign here you have to avoid plus sign on the right side, but you have to consider minus sign from the right side and put it back in the left side. So, that some of the three terms can be written as some of the two terms will be whole square. So, that is what I am going to do that is a plus b choosing minus sign choosing negative sign. Therefore, a plus b negative sign left side it is 2 root a b and uh, this is minus this is minus according to the uh, quadratic equation here it is minus and I send this c uh, to the right side that is equal to plus c. So, left side I will write this one as root a whole square root b whole square a can be written as root a whole square that value remains to be same there are no changes in the terms plus of 2 root of a b is equal to c. So, that clubbing these three terms that means, uh, this is a reverse uh, study of the mathematics you are going from answer to the question this is the answer already given, you have to write the statement of this summation that should be root a plus root b whole square is equal to c. You can make out a plus b whole square, a square plus b square plus 2 a b, a square root a whole square means only a, root b whole square means only b and 2 a b, 2 a b means 2 times root a into root b, easily you can uh, get the clarification for this we are writing from answer to the question fine. Uh, right side again what you are getting? If you remove the square root sign root a plus root b is equal to plus minus root of c. One more time you have to use your cleverness twice, twice in this result you have to use your cleverness. This is one thing right uh, at one stage and this is another stage. To give the result that is root a plus root b <coughs> root c root means a, a term whole to the power half. Then, if you select plus sign, it will become minus this side. If you select once again minus sign, it will become plus sign. Once again, you have to go for, because you have options, any one you can select, that is your choice. But to arrange according to the required result, you have to uh, choose so properly uh, that uh, sum of the positive three terms uh, should be is equal to 0. Therefore, choosing once again negative sign negative sign root of a plus root of b plus root of c is equal to 0 uh, avoiding that plus sign. So, this is what the result otherwise a to the power half plus b to the power half plus c to the power half 
is equal to 0. This is the end of the solution for this problem. Okay. Uh, we were able to derive because uh, this type uh, already two problems we have solved this is the third problem I am uh, explaining. Uh, in the in one of the previous problems their simplification itself was giving us 0 in one of the previous problems but here simplification for the perpendicularity condition sum of the reciprocal of the values is equal to 0 for the perpendicularity condition. I shall go to the next uh, example. Uh, to find the angle between any two diagonals of a cube. So, this is the problem I am going to discuss another important problem find the angle between any two diagonals of a cube because uh, already this problem I had uh, given I had explained in detail in the above case that is cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma plus cos square delta is equal to 4 by 3 and the same thing in terms of sin is equal to 8 by 3. In my previous lecture already I had explained. Now, I will take the help of that uh, problem once again. Uh, I, I shall discuss the angle between only two lines, but not all the four diagonals of a cube, but the diagram is cube. So, why I am selecting one more time the same data means today another problem also immediately after this I am going to discuss that is not a cube, but that is called parallelopiped how parallel piped is to be discussed. So, these are the two problems today. I shall complete this. Find the angle between any two diagonals of a cube and show that the angles between four diagonals of a rectangular parallel piped are cos inverse, cos inverse plus minus a square plus minus b square plus minus c square divided by uh, a square plus b square plus c square that is uh, the result to be proved as <coughs> result to be proved under cos inverse that means once again cos theta formula we have to use. Okay. So, the solution goes like this any two diagonals of a cube any two diagonals of a cube means I shall repeat the figure what I had written in my previous class that is once again having the same dimension of the cube this one, then this is P, this is O, this is Y, this is X and this is Z, then it must be A, this must be A dash and this must be B, opposite corner means this is B dash and this must be C and opposite corner means C dash. So, A is the dimension here on the X axis means O A and O B A and this is also A cube means you know that all the sides having the same dimension. So, that I can claim O A is equal to O B is equal to O C is equal to let me claim some dimension some symbol some notation I am taking all the three sides it must it must be having the same thing. Now, this must be A comma 0 0 and opposite side 0 A a and this b 0 a 0 and opposite side a 0 a and this c should be 0 0 a because x is 0 y is 0 on the z axis and the opposite side that is a a and then 0 and origin all the three are 0 and p is the arbitrary point that should be a a a. To show it uh, in the space if I take from any corner this is the point P right. This is this room itself you assume uh, as a cube then uh, arbitrary point I am choosing in the space that is nothing but P that should have all the three because A units from the x axis A units from the y axis and A units from the z axis all the three are equally distant from the coordinate axis. So, therefore, that should be A A A on the x axis A has uh, y 0 z 0 on the y axis y axis A x 0 z 0, but B is uh, uh, y is not 0 on the z axis x is 0 y is 0 and z is 
A units. So, this same diagram already we have taken to de derive the results two important results in the in my previous class. Now, I shall uh, now I am permitted completely I am free to select uh, as you know that already I had explained in the previous class in the in the cube totally four diagonals are possible right. Four diagonals means joining the opposite corners in this room or wherever you are sitting in the uh, uh, general room you assume that all the dimensions are with A units fine. If you take that corner join this bottom opposite bottom and if you same take that bottom and join this corner. So, these two diagonals are possible right and here this corner if you select and their bottom this becomes the diagonal and their top and here it is the bottom another diagonal M not more than these four diagonals in any room you can draw that is fixed universally fixed. So, opposite corner means in any room you can draw only four diagonals. Now, I am not going to use for the solution of this problem all the four diagonals I am using only the two diagonals because your statement is like that your state question uh, statement in the problem is like that. find the angle between any two diagonals of a cube any two diagonals we have totally four diagonals fine. What you are going to do in this uh, solution mainly three things you have to prove first is what are the direction ratios of the diagonal which you are going to choose which passes through two given points easily you can make out all the coordinates I given right. Then you have to write the direction cosines when once you obtain direction ratios from them you uh, take the conversion in writing the direction cosines. When once you have the direction cosines of uh, those two lines then angle between uh, any two lines of in a cube will be general formula you have to apply that is cos theta is equal to sum of the product of the direction cosines. Let me see how these direction cosines will behave with respect to any two diagonals. Now, first two diagonal for example, this is one diagonal ok a dash with a this is another diagonal and c with c dash this is one more diagonal and b with b dash b with b dash. Let me take uh, to give the solution for this problem I will take only two diagonals let o p and a a dash this is one choice you can take otherwise O p with B B dash O p with C C dash like that otherwise any two diagonals they must intersect any two diagonals they must intersect and the angle between them uh, angle between them means when the two diagonals when I draw when I draw they must intersect like this they must intersect like this the angle here and the angle here ok that will be represented by means of cos theta is equal to sum of the product of the uh, uh, given direction cosine symbols. Then O p first thing what you have to claim is what are drs of a a dash and O p second you have to develop dc's of same lines and third you have to use cos theta is equal to L 1 L 2 plus M 1 M 2 plus N 1 N 2 except this much nothing is there these three steps you have to use fine you proceed according to this direction cosines of A A dash as you know that any straight line passing through any straight line passing through two given points uh, set of points like x 1 y 1 x 2 uh, x 1 y 1 z 1 and x 2 y 2 z 2 then direction ratios uh, first you have to collect difference between those corresponding uh, symbols corresponding uh, that is nothing but uh, just like distance formula terms you are going to use right. Next point minus of previous point should be a dash minus of a uh, that is first uh, line that is uh, first line means it is a diagonal that is first diagonal ok. So, drs of a a dash b what are those values a dash minus a nothing but 
you have to write three values. You have to write three values means between x you have to subtract, between y you have to subtract and between z you have to subtract. What are the values of x? So, a a dash means a dash takes the coordinates 0 a a therefore, 0 minus minus uh, between a that is drs of a dash a a dash is b a dash minus a therefore, a dash is 0 and a is a this one and a dash next value is this one a minus and here it is 0 then one more is a minus 0 this should be this should be first uh, direction ratio is minus a second one is plus a and third one is plus a that is clear. Now, similarly drs of O p drs of O p means that is also a straight line O p means this is the point this is the point this is the line then it is passing through two sets uh, two given points what are those two given points one is the origin here origin has the coordinates 0 0 0 and another point has the coordinates a a a apply the same procedure that should be o p means p minus o should be here likewise three sets of values you have to write what is that p minus 0 p has a a a and origin has 0 0 it is quite obvious a minus 0 a minus 0 and then a minus 0 finally a a and then a these three values are there those two sets of values are nothing but direction ratios now the next stage i told you this stage is over now the next stage is direction cosines you have to collect so direction cosines you have to collect means this is of same line means uh, same diagonal a a dash uh, according to the definition relation between direction ratio and the cosine you have to write will be these are the values like uh, a b c means a 1 b 1 c 1 there are two sets then a 2 b 2 c 2 notation wise and notation wise for this line will be l 1 m 1 n 1 what is l 1 should be minus a directly I will write because already in previous problems we have discussed uh, this must be square root of a square plus b square plus c square like this uh, then uh, uh, this must be minus a square minus a divided by square root of minus a square means plus a square plus a square this one second one and third one is also plus a square. So, this becomes minus a divided by you can make out uh, because already we have discussed in the previous problem square root of 3 a square therefore, root 3 multiplied by a this cancels it is minus 1 by root 3. Uh, this is for uh, one case that is first number similarly the second number 1 by root 3 and 1 by root 3 because both are plus first one is minus in all the three cases a cancels you are getting those values these are the what we call them as instead of calling uh, uh, as them as this is we will call them as actual direction cosines now this is of o p will be this is of o p will be all the three are there so that you will directly let me write 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 because all the three values are positive now what you have to prove uh, when find the angle between any two diagonals of a cube now when once you get the direction cosines because to apply the formula that is cos theta is equal to angle between two straight lines it is nothing but okay angle between two straight lines when each line represents uh, the corresponding direction cosines in terms of l1 l, l m1 n1 and second line l2 m2 n2 so you have got these values and these can be written as l1 m1 n1 and similarly these values can be written as l2 m2 and then n2 therefore required required angle between two lines 
will be cos theta that is L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2. Easily you can make out the first number from the first set of direction cosines is minus 1 by root 3 and the, you combine this one for the product into 1 by root 3 likewise plus 1 by root 3 into 1 by root 3 plus 1 by root 3 into 1 by root 3. You can compare 3 sets another 3 sets simply you multiply then what is the answer you are going to expect here first multiplication gives this one square root of 3 into square root of 3 means only 3 that is then plus 3 and then plus 3 this cancels because plus and minus you can cancel answer you are getting it as 1 by 3 and left side you have the trigonometric function that is cos theta what is the what is the numerical value of this is nothing but theta is equal to cos inverse cos inverse that is 1 by 3. This is the problem commonly uh, occurs in most of the situations any two diagonals of a cube. Suppose they mention like uh, diagonals in the in uh, I mean with respect to the particular corners for example any two diagonals means now I have the freedom to select I have the liberty to select uh, the first diagonal as OP and second diagonal as AA dash in case in case particular location if they mention then also you will get the same type of answer in in the remaining uh, cases also right. So, this is the answer uh, which you can expect that is any two diagonals of the cube. Another problem is there slightly we go for small change uh, in the in accepting the diagram geometrically show that the angles between four diagonals of a rectangular parallel piped are now the figure is not the cube figure should be the rectangular parallel piped. In order to come make the comparison uh, uh, for your uh, I mean uh, uh, daily we are using our uh, 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 lighting the lamp uh, uh, lamp in the uh, puja room that is match box. If you take the match box and if you remove that inside all the sticks and if you make it hollow and then if you take a cross section on both the uh, sides that is nothing but parallel piped. Parallel piped definition is, is nothing but opposite planes must be parallel and with uh, uh, opposite uh, parallel uh, opposite surfaces that means opposite planes they will be having the same dim dimension opposite may opposite means not all the four uh, 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 regions, but exactly opposite regions must be parallel. So, that is called parallel piped piped means it must be hollow inside I will write the diagram according to that the angle is given by because uh, for uh, uh, for here four situations are possible, but uh, three situations uh, summation if you write it should be cos inverse of plus minus a square plus minus b square plus minus c square divided by uh, a square plus b square plus c square. I shall write the diagram so that you will get a complete idea of that and uh, uh, derivation is same thing just now all the values which you have taken almost it is similar type. I will just give the glimpse of the figure should be like this. like this then this is the origin this is z this is y this is x. So, uh, somewhere you can represent as p therefore, on the x axis you can represent as a on the y axis you can represent as b on the uh, z axis you can represent as c all the three directions will not be same especially in the parallel piped all the three directions will not be will not be same. That means, this is a bottle actually if you take a cross section like this cross section like this and here itself here itself then uh, that constitutes inside if you remove the water that constitutes the imagination of the parallel piped. So, that that parallel piped uh, 
having the edges having the edges uh, o suppose this is p this is a similar to the cube o a p and this one is b this is b dash and this is a dash and this is c and this is c dash then coordinates you have to represent coordinates you have to represent exactly what the values we have assigned what the values we have assigned uh, for dimension a units on the x axis small b units on the y axis and small c units on the z axis then your p will be represented by not a a a in the previous diagram but here a b c will be there all the three will not be same it is not a cube exactly this room you can imagine exactly this room this room the length if I measure from this direction is not the same in terms of width width is different length is different so that if you take this room uh, I mean at the two ends that that said means a positive end and uh, uh, starting end if you take a cross section this is nothing but parallel piped inside it is hollow then uh, a means a comma 0 0 b means 0 comma b comma 0 and c that is 0 0 c therefore obviously opposite sides uh, opposite sides easily you can represent uh, that is z a comma 0 0 means uh, 0 comma b comma c like that okay then a a dash is over then b b dash is nothing but a 0 c like that and c that is 0 0 c should be a b then 0 same procedure again you have to apply again you have to apply same procedure means direction ratios you have to calculate then direction cosines you have to calculate first of all you discuss between any two diagonals then you can extend the same idea between other uh, diagonals here also in the parallel pipe to four diagonals are possible that is four diagonals means op then uh, a a dash then b b dash and c c dash four diagonals are possible once again i will take the reference uh, like this but not a a a as coordinates for the point p but it will have a b c b is not equal to a c is not equal to a similarly a is not equal to b a is not equal to c like that all the three dimensions are different then it must be uh, drs drs of op otherwise a a dash if i start with then directly can i write that should be uh, a a dash means that is a dash minus a if i write directly that is a has these coordinates and this one that is a uh, divided by square root of a square plus b square plus c square then b means next minus uh, previous one should be minus that is b minus 0 therefore b divided by a square plus b square plus c square and c minus 0 c divided by square root of a square plus b square plus c square like this even short form also some authors uh, they write instead of writing uh, square root of a square plus b square plus c square we can also write in the form of sigma notation inside the square root sign that is square root of sigma a square like that also you can write then similarly that is o p similarly o p that is p minus o they are nothing but p is a b c so a divided by square root of same thing this one same value and b divided by same value and c divided by it is same value then if you take the angle between these two diagonals as a first case then cos theta is equal to that is minus a into a minus a square and b into that means <coughs> these are actual uh, uh, direction ratios and direction cosines that means dc's because directly i have written only the numerator values are direction ratios 
followed by denominator values means once for all I have written because already two, two three problems of the same type already I have given a square this product divided by cos theta means divided by a square plus b square plus c square I hope you can understand because denominator is a common term therefore I can write it as a common term minus a square uh, a into a and b into b plus b square because plus sign is there plus c into c that is c square. So, this is one term if you select like this in the successive order that is o p a a dash next remaining diagonals o p with b b dash o p with uh, c c dash like that you can uh, collect then three values are possible similarly in another case may be a square here it is a minus sign in another situation you will get it as plus sign. So, to sum up these values uh, similarly similarly uh, the angle similarly the angle between the remaining diagonals remaining diagonals and and summing and summing. So, all those steps I am skipping directly I am going to the last step should be cos theta here it is minus I told you in another situation you are getting it as plus sign therefore, we put it as plus minus a square plus minus b square plus minus c square and divided by divided by square root of a square plus b square plus c square that is what uh, the result this one. show that the angles between four diagonals of a rectangular parallel of piped e a uh, pipe will be cos inverse of this ratio because uh, if you choose plus sign all the values numerical in the numerator uh, they will be divided by uh, a square plus b square plus c square ok. So, the, that is uh, with the square root sign their uh, square root sign is missing their square root sign is missing. Uh, the values should be with the square root sign in the denominator. So, this is the solution of the required problem. The next two problems I am going to solve those problems will be the last set of problems in this chapter uh, centroid of a triangle and centroid of tetrahedron that is centroid of a triangle first of all I have to give the equation what is the centroid of a triangle then I have to apply these uh, 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 values means given coordinates in order to represent what is the centroid of the triangle. Then centroid of the triangle first of all let me draw the diagram <coughs> then the coordinates means uh, values of x y z in the form of uh, uh, numbers it will be given then what is the centroid we have to give the actual calculation centroid of a triangle. and centroid parallelly let me explain centroid of the tetrahedron so triangle if i take like this then if it is a this is b and then this is c what we do here to find the centroid uh, means the cent a point which represents point which represents equal forces that means force from the line a b force from the line b c and force from the line a c. So, uh, we call it as uh, in general for example, if you write uh, the uh, graph of this one y square is equal to 4 a x that is nothing but parabola then this is nothing but focus from this focus all the lines will be drawn that means if it is a concave uh, uh, mirror then you will get a focal point where uh, if you expose it to the sun rays then the focal point you will get maximum temperature from at that focal point likewise here also the centroid which represents the force from all the three directions at one point. So, that so I, I, I shall divide this line I shall divide this line and I will represent this one by p and the centroid will be the center uh, I, I mean from every line the midpoint I am going to select this is also midpoint and 
this is also midpoint right that is the line AB that is the line uh, AC that is the line BC. Now A has the coordinates x1, y1, z1, B has the coordinates x2, y2 and then z2, C has the coordinates x3, y3 and then z3. To give the derivation, to give the derivation of the centroid in this triangle, uh, let us take this uh, P as the midpoint of this BC, midpoint of this BC, then I will call it as G as the G as the centroid. Therefore, BC has the coordinates like x2, y2, z2 and x3, y3, z3. If P happens to be the midpoint that has the coordinates x2 plus x3 divided by 2, comma y2 plus y3 divided by 2, comma z2 plus z3 divided by 2. When once you get the uh, coordinates of uh, this uh, point which divides the line exactly at the central uh, position, then between these two I shall take then the uh, centroid is the point G which divides the line AP in the ratio that is 2 is to 1, then comes the section formula and we are able to derive centroid has the coordinates x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3. Similarly, y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3 and z1 plus z2 plus z3 divided by 3. That is the derivation. Uh, I shall continue the, that problem and one more last problem in the next uh, lecture and then I will close this chapter. Then we shall discuss about the uh, equation of the plane and applications of this uh, equation of the plane with for in various forms and the corresponding problems. Uh, uh, till here, I will close today and uh, if there are any queries and you are free to ask, I shall answer. Thank you.